hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you guys we really appreciate your support thank you for liking thank you for sharing and thank you for commenting and then we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen Thank you once again, my beautiful people. Yesterday uh, um, was the election, by elections, um, um, senatorial by elections across the country in different states. Some were peaceful, um, some uh, had uh, a bit of violence here and there. But the news we're getting this morning is that INEC has declared them um, some of the election inconclusive and has decided to reconduct the election quite um, surprising and the reason they have for that um, is something of really um, it's a shocking one because two ad hoc staffs got missing wow unbelievable what must have happened to them we'll find out them um, all the details but i next so far they are clear on their position that they've declared them um, those uh, by election in those states inconclusive and has fixed and uh, um, going to fix a date another date to reconduct the election We'll bring you all the details and as to other um, states and what went down as well yesterday. We'll get you all the details shortly. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. The Bukura local government area of the assembly by election in Zamfara state has been declared inconclusive by the Independent Electoral Commission, INEC, even as two ad hoc staff of the commission were declared missing in the state. As at the time of filing this report, their whereabouts were still unknown as disclosed by the INEC in the state. The returning officer for the by-election, Professor Ibrahim Magawata, who addressed newsmen in the early hours of Sunday, said the election result of some police unit in Bukhara ward has been cancelled. According to the professor, Maguatu, those cancelled polling units have a total number of 11,429 votes. The PDP candidate Alaji Ibrahim Tunde has scored the total number of 18,645 votes, while the APC candidate Alaji Belu Dankati Gamji scored 16,464 votes so far in the by election conducted on Saturday in the state. It was gathered that a new date will be announced to conclude the inconclusive by-election in the state. Wow, politicians and um, all of the election practice and everything going on. Um, INEC have declared um, this election inconclusive. So far, it looks like um, they've detected some form of practices here and there. And as a result, they've declared it inconclusive. But for the two ad hoc staff that are missing, that is surprising. We don't know if that is related, if it's anything to do with the election or it's just uh, a coincidence. But um, at the time of filing the report, it was stated that their whereabouts was still unknown. So surprising. But we hope that those two ad hoc staff, they are safe wherever they are. We hope that um, they, they find them safely. And with INEC, INEC have stated that uh, a, a date will be fixed to decide um, what will be done to this election. But so far, what their position is that the election is inconclusive, meaning at the moment there is no winner. So no one um, has been has won um, the seat. But for other states, um, we've been hearing of all uh, the people that emerge winners. But a surprising thing and shocking one happened in Bielsa State. Um, so it's a sad event as well. Uh, um, Three policemen drowned in Bielsa State. Let's just get into the details and find out what happened. At least three policemen were drowned in Bielsa State yesterday during one of the by-elections conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in 11 states of the Federation. The by-election include one senatorial election, each in Lagos, Imo, Plateau, and Cross River states following the death of the four senators, namely Senator Adebayo Oshinawa, Lagos East, Senator Benjamin Uwajamugu, Imo North, Senator Ignatius Longjam, Plateau South, and Senator Rose Oko, Cross River North. The by elections in Bayosa Central and West Senatorial District was informed by the election of Senator Doye Diri and Senator Lawrence Erujapo 
as governor and deputy governor of the state, respectively, that there were also state houses of assembly by election held in Kosofe State Constituency 2 in Lagos State and Abuja State Constituency in Kogi, occasioned by the death of previous occupants of the seat, Honorable Tunde, Brimo, and John Abba, respectively. However, there was largely voter apathy yesterday in the affected state in Lagos East election, which took place in the five local government areas of Shomolu, Kosofe, Ikorodu, Iberju, Leki, and Ekpe, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Tokumbo Abiri, and his opponent in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Babatunde Gadamosi, were the front runners for the 1,343,448 registered voters spread across 71 ward, 1,928 polling units, and 188 voting points. At Church Street area of Alapere, some of the electorate who spoke said they were not mobilized by the parties and did not waste their time voting for anyone. One of the election observers bemoaned the apathy, stating that it is worrisome that even the young people that we thought were ready to effect change through the ballot are nowhere to be found. We even had more elderly people cast their votes than all these young people. Similarly, motorists and residents flouted the restrictions of movement order imposed by the police to ensure the smooth conduct of the election. No fewer than 38 vehicles were impounded by the commissioner of police in Lagos State, Hakim Odumosu, on Ikorodu Road of the Lagos State for defying restrictions imposed on the vehicular movement within the jurisdiction of Lagos East, whereby elections were held. The police had earlier announced restriction of vehicular movement between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. in the affected five local government areas. Speaking on the election, Vice Chairman All Progressive Congress APC Lagos East Senatorial District and Chairman of the Party's Campaign Council, Asipa Ulusaya, said the election was peaceful, orderly, and without any form of coercion or intimidation. So guys, um, the elections have been concluded, but so far so good. It's just um, the Zamfara one that um, INEC has declared inconclusive at the moment. Guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.